You're watching Math Feats episode 19. I'm going to make a video for each anime this season. You're watching 19. Math Feats forever. So I just finished watching episode one of Ensemble Stars. And I have to say, you know, um, this show pretty much sucks. I don't really, I don't really think it's all that good. Keep watching to find out why. It's been a long time coming, guys. It's about time we had a discussion about the female self-inserter. So basically we start out as our female self-insert. <laughs> walks into a classroom to find out or just to see the like four main dudes who are we're going to be probably following throughout the series is that an airplane anyway she walks in to find them all singing of course and it's very uh very charming shockingly the music whenever they're actually singing in the show is quite good and i at least enjoyed it i mean i guess that's the kind of thing you would expect from uh, you know, a music show, a gotcha, but, you know, I mean, hey, they, they, they passed. Thank God the idol show has music, man. Has good music, God bless. Yeah, the music and the singing parts are pretty, uh, pretty charming. I felt charmed, you know? I mean, really, it's just, you know, a bunch of dudes. The guy designs, they look alright, really, it's just the hair that's different, and, uh, I don't know, sometimes their outfits. The characters are all pretty basic. They all seem to be just like a uh, different cliches and uh, contrivances mixed up all together. You know, you could basically tell which one is which by the way they look. And they're all unbelievably in love with you because I think that's what uh, what uh, y'all want, right? They're pandering to you. Anyway, after our main character who doesn't have a name meets the four new guys, they are already BFFs and they're all just like, I oh, guess we're going to show you a tour or something. And, and uh, basically, we're just with them for the rest of the episode as they tell us everything. I think what happens is that they are practicing for a bit and then they realize, oh, shit, it's too late, you know, as she walks in, you know, as our main character walks in and the OP starts playing. The OP is pretty meh. I mean, it sounds good, but I also feel like this is just a guy version of a of a fucking idol master song. So, you know, maybe that's a maybe that's a criticism that's not legit, but it sounds just like one that I have in mind, but would not be able to find, especially not for this video. <laughs> ah, the show is so boring. <laughs> Everything happens so slowly. I like cannot even think of what has happened. I'm just not being able to be interested in this show. I didn't think I would get through this first episode. But basically what happens after that is that uh, one teacher, Mr. Hot Teacher Guy, who's probably also a super rare catch. Or maybe he's like a, maybe he's like somebody who uh, is just a trainer and you can't actually get them. So he's a super, 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 he's a SSSS rare. If you weren't aware, Ensemble Stars is an adaptation of a manga that is based on and an adaptation of a mobile app it's a phone game and basically it's a gacha game and if you don't know what gacha means gacha yes it is a gacha game not gacha moochie yeah. you <laughs> gacha cha ching gacha you know you know what i'm saying and so what a gacha game is, is, is basically you, uh, do things in app, a mobile game, and you basically, the game is revolved around roles and getting specific things. So you're just trying to, basically, you know, if you're playing, if you're playing Idol Master, you want to get the golden super SSR hot girl that you like, you know, and if you're playing, you know... Same thing with Azur Lane, actually. Yeah, you're just same thing. You're you're just trying to get the hot girls that you like, the characters that you think are cool, the ones that tend to be the coolest always and have the more work put into them are basically 
the super rares and because of their their rarity they are or basically they're more rare so it's less likely that you're going to get it and you know the conceit is you can do things in app that are to that are making the game like so you can save up to get these rolls so that you can soon get the thing that you want or you can pay money and also get rolls and get like a guaranteed uh something from paying and so yeah that's how all these games work that's why you that's why shit like why pokemon masters is becoming a huge thing after pokemon go that's why national dex isn't a thing because because the pokemon games make up so little money compared to how much mobile apps make for them that like console games make up literally nothing and so they only do it for you know for just to just to push uh consoles basically sorry did not expect that to get into a rant about the national decks but you know um gotchas are taking over the world and the future is mobile games get ready gamers rise up gamers <laughs> so what's kind of so so what really made me like be like oh come on what the fuck is like whenever like they introduce a hot guy and then there was a golden border around him and i was like oh my fucking god it's a gotcha game that's right this is what we're gonna be dealing with <laughs> just like oh basically you're gonna see a whole bunch of guys who have super hot like characters and they look good and they have really good designs and you're gonna see them pop up randomly a whole bunch of them that you've never seen before and you're not really gonna know that much about them maybe learn one or two things about them maybe they'll have a couple lines but uh they're going to just show off the character designs that are hot and uh hopefully that gets you into the anime or maybe fills in the gaps if you play the game already anyway enough about that let's continue so then we get to basically um our main character and then the four other guys walking outside and basically they're having a random conversation about something and you know just a whole bunch of nothing that really matters just oh yeah you gotta have better grades <laughs> and uh then then we uh get the characterization that kid with uh orange hair is really obsessed with money and he says oh yeah they're shiny and then he also says that like he, he'll just do anything for like a dollar or something and just begs for money and shit and so, yeah, this guy's like, hey, I'll give you 10 yen to do something. And he's like, oh, fuck yeah. Even though 10 yen is, I'm pretty sure, an actual, is literally just a penny. I mean, not a penny, but is 10 cents. This is how it's going to be now. Look, Akehoshi, I'll give you 10 yen. Oh my god, I love you. I can't believe you'd give me such a great gift. I'll call you my master. Yeah, you know, um, this is something. The show sucks. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, I guess really I'm not the right person to be uh, talking about it. I mean, you know, this wasn't a show that I was probably going to like to begin with. You know, it's clearly not pandered towards me and I'm not the intended audience. I'm sure there are some people that probably love this. I'm sure this is like a nice. I, d I just cannot understand it, but it would be cool if somebody would explain it. Comment what you think. This is really, really, really awkward. I don't know. Maybe... Man, see, I don't know if it's just me. If I'm just hating on this show for no reason. But, like, okay. So, there's this one scene where... Where black hair dude basically... Is trying to, like... Convince our main character... To... To go and, like, join them. And as they give her a tour of the school... And he said he's gonna give her some con pieto candy. I'm pretty sure I know what candy that is. Just tiny little dots that are like sugar. And then they like pan away to like the other two characters that aren't, that's not the black hair dude. Just the blonde hair with glasses and orange poor kid who's totally poor. And they're like, oh no, he's gonna tell her the, he's gonna give her the con pieto bit. You know, the fucking. <laughs> He's, oh, he says this every single time. Oh no, now he's gonna say something else, but I don't wanna say anything because he's gonna give me 10 yen. Do you see what I mean? Like, the show is just like, it feels like everything is forced a little too hard. I feel like it's very hard to be, like, interested in this because I just, I'm, I just can't get invested. Like, this just breaks my immersion so badly. Do it for the 10 yen, please! Do it for the 10 yen! 
So then they cut to basically them sitting at some really shitty, you know, just super generic basic place to sit down outside, I guess. Because it looks like nothing, there's, there's nothing really like declaring what this is. It's just kind of a whole bunch of smooth surfaces that all look the same. And uh, you see another character chilling here who who is the second time that I noticed the whole golden border around somebody who shows up whenever they're first introduced. And oh man, is it jarring. I just, it's just dumb. So basically what this is, is an adaptation of an idle training game. And so of course you are, our main character is apparently training to become a producer of idols and so this school is all of the idols just being trained to become better idols and your te your student here or your your main character our protagonist is also the only girl at the school who is the new student that everybody is talking about who is also training to do something completely different i guess okay dude got it got it man Basically, they explain to you the rules of Gacha by showing like, oh yeah, this is a SSR, you know, this is a super super rare. The top of the top are the are the super super rares. And then you see, then you see Law Rar XD dude with things, and he's very angry, angry boy. Put me out of my misery. Quote: I'll bite you, tear you apart, and drink your fresh blood right crowd cheers this show sucks like even in the background there's just like characters like background characters don't even have their eyes like they just like there's just a uh, a blank spot where their eyes would be are you serious son that's cap so basically then there's a fight which is bullshit because they're at a concert now and this concert is you know just law raw, raw xd lamau dude doing his uh oh i'm so angry angry thing and then he challenges a guy who's a power more powerful than him i guess it were who's the most powerful guy in this whole school airplanes guys and then they fight and then even even during the animation here i was just thinking because because I got an idea to literally make an anime while watching this episode, because anime always looks so bad, and always looks so like easily like stocked and shit, but is always talked about to be so terribly hard and everything, I'm thinking that I can make one, just you know like a shit one like this. Like I think even the special effects, like even the special effects during the fight scene, I could probably do. So that's basically the lens I've been watching this show in is just like, this show just, like, it looks so easy. Like, I could have made this. I can find a, a drawn background and then just put characters onto it and then put the screen close up. I'm saying, dude, these shows suck. So many, so much anime is just, like, shit that is not animated and is shit that is without passion, without anything to say. I'm sick of it. So the fight scene's all right, I guess. I really don't couldn't give a shit. Basically, one dude gets flung off and he falls right on main character girl. She passes out because I don't know. And then you see best boy, who's this dude with pink hair named Tori Him Himamiya, and uh, he's best boy. I'd probably have to get away a whole lot better at Photoshop before I make an anime, but I can do that. Maybe After Effects too. So. Tori Himamiya is a part of the student council, which I guess is just evil all of a sudden. And so, of course, you know, a lot of anime have a, a lot of anime have characters or have the student council become like evil and controlling the school. And it it doesn't really make sense because it seems like the top most pop or like powerful or maybe just best guys in the school. Maybe the top top SSRs are all they're all in the student council. And so it doesn't really make sense like if somebody is just better than one of those guys and they'll get put in the student council but like what it seems like they're doing is that everybody is basically against the student council and everybody's trying to fight the student council because what happens is that the student council shows up at once at, at, a, at a certain point and they just start shutting down like the concert that they were having for whatever reason 
because I guess these are not allowed and you get the oh yeah the guy who's supposed to be hot because he just follows rules and is just a you know lawful lawful good and just does follows his rules and shit and then of course Tori Himamiya which I guess is he's gay so uh even though really you just want them all to be gay because like I'm pretty sure like there's a couple shipping between guys in these episodes like a guy will fall in another guy and he'll just stare at him real close to his face Oh yeah, the student council tries to like punish the entire group of people who are at the concert. They're like, everyone who is here, you will all be punished swiftly because this is madness and you're not allowed to do this, I guess. And like, there's like a unreasonable amount of people there. <laughs> like, like way more than a hundred, probably at least 300 people. And these, and these are just like, you're all in trouble. Fuck all y'all. It's pretty such a meme and then also on the like wide shots of all the characters none of them have their eyes drawn in why what what the fuck this looks like a joke seriously they're all hajime hinatas tori himamiya is mad cute though anyway whatever our main characters don't even have to worry about that because they actually got to sneak away because you know um main character passed out so they had to go bring her to the nurse and then you see hot teacher again who's like yeah she'll be okay and then black hair dude is like has been sitting next to her bed the whole time just doing that cliche i guess what is the why are you why why who made this and why did you do this okay i know why but Really, I can't blame anybody but myself. She's just sleeping deeply. Put me in a deep sleep. That's basically all that happens. This show sucks. Instead of watching this, go play Idol Master because it is better. It has gorgeous 3D graphics. They're not sponsoring me. They should be. I don't think they sponsor anybody. Fuck you, Bondi. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got to say. Like if you enjoy, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Go to boobs.moe. Go to boobs.moe to see forever. a surprise. And that's all I've got to say about Ensemble Stars. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Sorry. Sorry.